This is Robert Parks Flutter. You're watching Ed Magic TV. Hats off from everybody in Hawaii Five-O. It's simple to see it's Ed Magic TV, so the world can believe it's Ed Magic TV. Ah, uh, the days of Hawaii Five-O, but now there's a new days of Hawaii Five-O. Brand new day right now. New cast, new people, new energy. It's one of the hottest shows on TV right now. I can't can't explain. It's pretty amazing out there. Well, action-packed movies, if you will, or television series certainly presents sometimes more difficulty than that of the drama pictures because of all the action that's involved in it. it tell us about, about Hawaii Five-0 from your point of view. I mean, Hawaii Five-0, it's, it's pretty much a, a, a non-stop adrenaline ride the whole way through. And when, you know, the great thing about Hollywood is when you have the professionals, the best of the best, you know, the best stunt coordinators, the best actors who are able to do, like Alex O'Loughlin is able to do so much of his own stuff and Daniel Day Kim. So we're, we're able to do so much as ourselves as actors and combining that with the most talented coordinators and everything, it's, it makes for an amazing uh, action, amazing show. Are you a New York actor or a California actor? I'm a San Diego born and raised flip-flop, so I'm back home, back in, out there, so. When you, before you got to Hawaii Five-0, how long did it take you before you got that part? Uh, I've been out in LA for about six years and started out doing uh, Young and the Restless and, and did uh, Days of Our Lives. So it was, I did the soap stuff. It, you know, you, you walk in, you kind of find a little niche, and then since there, it's been uh, it's been good. Wi-Fi has always been the, the new thing, but uh, you know, got, I've been around the block, you know, doing the doing the guest stars, the co-stars, and finally found something that hit. So when you say Young and Restless. Uh you know, that's like 40, 50 pages a day. Tell us your character on both of those. Um, on Young and the Rest, I played a character called Plum. And uh, Plum was the, uh, the heartbreaker bad boy coming in. And, and you're right. I mean, soap operas is the most demanding, hardest working. I tip my hat to anybody who does a soap opera. It's 25, 40 pages a day, and it's straight dialogue. You know, a lot of times on Hawaii 5 we're doing five pages a day. And the difference between that is, I mean, all, you, you literally go in, and, and they say soaps aren't the most incredibly acted, you know, of genres. But the thing is, it's the hardest acting genre out of all of them. I don't know any other actors who go on set with 40, you know, 40 pages of dialogue. On Hawaii Five-0, we do maybe 10, maybe five. You know, so, I, like I said, I tip my hat off. It's a great workshop for any actor. I recommend it. If you can get into it, it's a great training ground.